السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله uh, The last three days I was in Halifax in a da'wah tour So one of the very beautiful interesting stories that I want to share with you which I came across just two days ago One of the imams, he told me the following story it happened just a few days ago He said one of the sisters uh, a non-Muslim she was interested in Islam for many months, she kept coming to the masjid asking questions, the specific imam that told me the story. But still, she did not decide to become a Muslim. So, so she said, uh, brother, sister, please, brothers, brothers in the back. Salaam alaikum, brothers in the back, please, brothers in the back. Salaam alaikum, brothers in the back, please, can you make, please, zakum la khair. People on your side, they can't hear us. <clears throat> How's this? Good. Alhamdulillah, <laughs> Alhamdulillah. I've done it. <coughs> Thank you. What I was saying. <laughs> ah, yes. She was, she was still has not decided to become a Muslim. He said, I went to the Umrah. And while I was in the Umrah, I received a message from her telling that she decided to declare the Islam. He told her that I'm in the Umrah now. Please go to the masjid. And you can find any of the sisters and they can do this for you. You can declare your Islam, no problem. She said, no, I want you to be a witness because you are the person who was in charge of all the time answering my questions. She, he said, okay, when I come back, which is just a few days later, uh, I will call you. He came in the first of Ramadan, sent her a message. She came, I think, second, third, just <laughs> last week. He said, look, how the generosity of Allah, you will be amazed to know what happened. So she came to my office, uh, so as not to stay alone with her. I just randomly went with the sister Adaga and I say, sister, you, can you just come and sit with her till we break the fast, pray the Maghrib, and we come and sit with her? She said only, randomly. He chose one of the sisters. It happened to be a sister from Egypt. Randomly. Come, she does not know why he asked her to come. Then he told her. Now the two sisters sit together in his office. He finished for a few minutes came back. He said, when I came back, I found both of them in high emotional status, as if they were crying, both of them. Then he discovered the following. This Egyptian sister, she was the reason of Islam for this sister seven years ago. Look what happened. In Halifax, the Muslim community is much little than what you see. And the activities are much less. <laughs> Masajid are much less. This sister, seven years ago, because she was lacking the activities, she felt the wajib, the obligation of da'wah, she decided to use Kijiji to make da'wah. Now, people, you know, they send on Kijiji, they sell their items, products, like marketplace. She puts an ad saying, if you want a free copy of the Quran, please call me. I will send you a free copy. <laughs> With a nickname. She, not her real name. So she used to distribute the Quran when someone asked for a free copy. When they sat together, she was asking her, how did you become interested in Islam? She said, seven years ago, I was looking. Coincidentally, I found on Kijiji an account, gave me a copy. What was the name of the account? Such and such. She started crying. It was her. <laughs> she does not know her. No one of them knows that the other one is the one that she sent or she received. When they realized, they started crying, both of them. Now, subhanAllah, when he came, he said, what happened? He discovered that she was the real reason. Now, my point. Look, seven years, the copy. She kept reading, considering, thinking. When she decided to declare, Allah al Karim refused but to bring the reason to honor. <laughs> Seven years, none of them knows each other. No, I mean, randomly think, she wanted to declare, he said, do it, she said, no, when you come. And when he left, he was looking for a female randomly in the masjid, just to stay with her. When he chose her, he was not aware that Allah is the one who's choosing. <laughs> and by the way, when you think about it, okay, it might be just a simple story, but it gives you an idea about the power of Allah. And Allah is controlling everything. And whatever khair you do, it will not 
be lost as long as it's in the hand of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So please be sure. I know we all have stories like this. But sometimes, sometimes we need to refresh our memory. We need to refresh our spiritual power. We need a new motivation to keep motivating this difficult life, this materialistic life. This, you know, focusing always, you know, and that's just in this dunya. So please don't give up doing the khayr. <laughs> don't say, oh, what can I? It, it's up to Allah. Apart from what you will find in the akhirah. I'm talking about the dunya now. <laughs> this is a simple, beautiful example. Please share it with the people around you. So that when someone does a khayr, don't say, how did she know that Allah will bring <laughs> this sister? By the way, this is one of tens of hundreds. We don't, she does not know about the rest yet. Maybe she will meet them in the hereafter. <laughs> Allah made her aware that this is like, 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 a, like a, a message from Allah. Be aware, O oh my servants, sister, that's what you were doing many years ago. I know, and it is accepted, and this is one of the <laughs> results. Just be aware. It's like tranquility and peace of mind that everything has been accepted. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, minna jami'an. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.